久々に墓参りに行き No, go f u c k yourself, not with the graves again! Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Watch Fear and Blind. I had to wait for the first time for an episode to drop, and it was hell. So, here we are, episode 21. I don't know what it's called in English, in German it is called Die Welt der Magie, which means the world of magic, because my crunchy roll is like it put itself to German, so I don't know what it's called in English. But we will now, um, we will now start the episode. I can't wait to see where it goes. I hope we get more lore. I can't wait for the fight Denken versus Frieren. Because normally the people she fights are like, it's a battle of, I think, power and skill. But this might be a battle of tactics and I can't wait to see how she fares against someone who might be more experienced than her. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on what you thought about this. So uh, also on Patreon, these will I tr will try to put them up on Friday evenings, um, at least German time, so watch them. I might do something uh, else for one or two hours and then I will edit them. So Patreon should have them ASAP, so to speak. And uh, Saturday for the rest of you will be Frieren Day. So Saturday evenings at the uh, yeah, end of Saturday, so to speak, usual time, we will uh, see that or I will see to uh, the episodes being live or like on the channel for everyone. So without further ado, let's get into it, have some fun. And uh, yeah, let's see how Denken thinks. Doch ich frag, ich frag mich, wer wir sind. Ooh, flashback to young Frieren and Flamme. And Serie, weird. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's fucking go. Nor, perhaps. So they know each other. That's interesting. Why is Frieren smiling and looking at her weirdly now? What? What? Why? What? Okay. No, no, skip it, skip it, skip it. No, 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 no. Not gonna do that. The world of magic. So I was not that far off. Um, will we get more lore? Like, that was a tease, I think, for the episode. They did that in Core 1 sometimes. Are we gonna get more backstory? So Flamme and her, like, Flamme and Zerie know each other. And people have said that the... Um, Human Grimoire or something like that, the Sentient Grimoire was just a nickname. Like you would call someone Walking Encyclopedia. People have called me that when I was young, but that was like not like it didn't didn't fit because I was not like I did not know that much. So, ooh, Bargland. Yeah, yeah. We will have to go back and analyze all the spells because they are just misspellings of German words, I currently think. Reminds me of the Grammy area as well. And there are Genau and Zenza. And people have said Richter because of the Richter Scala, the Richter scale. Oh, it's so cool to watch Frieren on the big screen. Ah. Oh, you are alike, you two. Ah. Interesting. So we have it again, like this theme of the way is the goal, which is what I think the ending will be. Um, and I still, uh, I still think that. And this again, another, I know it might be nothing, but again, it's this, yeah, like the way is the meaningful thing. And in the end, I still think in the end, the way will have been necessary to see the dead. So let's see if it's, yeah. Yeah, you're an elf, you would say that. Ooh. So Flamme is the disciple of Zeria. Why is she called Zeria? It's probably because she has got serials of spells. That's so weird. Or is, can she rebirth herself or some shit? I don't know. Zeria is like serial, serious. I said that last time, but intriguing. 
気に入った。Ooh, nice. 一つだけ授けてやる。Oh, so did Flammer become the first human first class mage, or was that before the tests? And did this lead to this ritual of them getting the spells? Yeah, yeah, it's figuratively, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's weird. That's very demonic in a way. Ha.、Huh. Also, I misunderstood, so it's not Flamme getting the spell, it's Frier, and what will she choose? Will it be the flowers? That would be cool. I would love that. I would, I would love Zeria's reaction to a flower spell, like, that would be awesome. But no, Flamme taught her that, I think.、Um, so, what will Frier choose?、Um, also, as I said, we suddenly, and, and I was actually a bit stumped by that, and I did not discuss it yet. That the humans also have special, special, special magic、um, they use, like the demons do. So they adapted that.、Um, for sure, they can use other spells, but that's so weird. I have to think more about that. And humans seem to search for the spell, apparently,、uh, and the demons know them or like create them themselves. So, how do humans create magic? We know they created Zoltrak. But apparently, most of the magic is elven magic then. So, how did the elves create the magic? Is it the goddess? Oh, that's also very interesting. Ooh, Denka knows that, perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps Denka knows that, and interesting. Why, Zeria? Ah, <laughs> she, la <laughs> she lacks a burning ambition. Oh, that's awesome dialogue. Because of Flamme burning and Frieren like frozen or, 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 or freezing. Awesome. Yeah, you're trolling me. A peaceful era, but it's not peaceful. Ooh. Why not? Why?、Mm. Zeria is weird. b e v e r e d in a good way. So, so, Zeria is what I got from this dialogue. And of course, we learn more in a moment, but I just want to recap to explain where I am currently at. Um, so she's a powerful mage, probably the most powerful that ever existed, because I look at how many grimoires she has there.、Um, how many is that? It's probably like 400 grimoires, so 400 spells at least. And grimoires might contain more spells than one, I guess. And she desires battle. That also then is in line with the first,、uh, first mage exams being battles, so to speak. Um, because she grants the, that to the most battle versed mages, I guess. Not sure completely if all the first class mage exams are battles, but they, they have this battle aspect.、Um, and she can't defeat the Demon King with, with this lust for battle. Why not? Okay, yeah, 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 I thought so. I am pretty sure elves are connected with, with demons in a way. I, I don't know how exactly. I'm just gonna throw out some random nonsense now and it might stick somewhere in my head and I might come back to it. But so it might be that um, um, demons are corrupt, corrupt mana from elves. So, like, if you're not pure, you create this mana,、um, mana waste and it turns into monsters first and then into demons if you're too powerful and if you let it fester for too long. It's like a lie growing into cancer and destroying something like people.、Um, or it might have been that all magic comes with a price. Because we've not seen the price for magic, they have mana, but there's no. Drawback to their magic. Demons have drawbacks in their magic. We've seen that their, their spells all have weaknesses. At least the ones we saw, perhaps that's not correct for all. So, 
it might like I still th I now think that demons are linked with elves for some reason. So, but might not be. Anyway, let's see why why a battle might not beat the demon king. Perhaps because he sees it coming as well. But perhaps it's also just that simple and all I said just now is nonsense. As I said, so. Oh, I love Flammer. She's so well drawn. Rieren is a mage of a peaceful era. She is. Because all her spells, like she does, know Zoltrak, which is, um, um, I think, a incorrect spelling for Zaltag now, after the Bagland thing. So I think Zoltrak means like it's a, a modified version of Payday in German. It fits. Um, but uh, anyway, so yeah, she's a peaceful mage. She collects the spells that you could not afford to learn in a time of war. And she uses that to like see the beauty in the little things already a bit. I love that. And that's what Himmel wanted as well, because Himmel also wanted a peaceful time, I assume. So makes sense. Let's see. Let's see what she says here. I like that. Yeah. Also... Also, this philosophy of peace she has now spread to at least some mages like Denken, who's an intelligent mage. So he lived in this peaceful era. Oh, was that sharp? Oh no, Lavina pulled out the ice. I ice you card. Why won't he freeze? Okay. Okay. The the difference in mana is too great. So we've got the Bleach Rayatsu problem. Like, you have to have enough mana. Like, two spells going at, at each other is not the same. Depends on the user. Like, I like that. So, Neftir. Neftir. That's a weird name. Perhaps it's, perhaps it's just... I don't know. Does that does that sound familiar to like anything in English? Because we might have every language being like turned a bit in the spells. Neftir. Neftir. I don't know. I might think I have to think about it. And she uses again rocks. Ooh, but Kane blocked it. Is Kane more powerful? Wow, I love his fighting. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. The ground coming up. Yeah, but they will probably win. Because they're, they're a team working. Probably. Yes, Richter, please tell me. I, I, I want all your lectures. I sign up for all your classes as well if you have some. Okay. Oh, I never saw that the defensive spell as well has the aureola effect inside. That's so cool. Yeah, it is so awesome. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, that's so cool to combat the normal defensive spells. Yeah, he's gonna push up the ground with spikes. Wow, yeah. Oh, that's actually wow. That's actually a pretty big spike. I thought it was a small one, but yeah, it's a big, big one. Yeah, it's the volume. That's so cool. Please tell me Frieren didn't off-screen them. Oh, is someone gonna do it to Kasu? Oh no, she's just standing up. Yeah, I was a uh, shit. Shit, I was about to say that she could like freeze his uh, veins or something. It is. Yeah, 
Uh, what the fuck? I love that. Spells can't produce the effects you can't picture. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I could probably talk for three hours now because this is my area of expertise in research. This is exactly this topic. This is what I am the best at. So I'm not going to go there. If you want me to talk more about this in an extra video or something, let me know. Because I can tell you a lot of stuff here. Like, like I would just steamroll you probably. But one thing I can say is that um, picturing something like from a cognitive perspective, you first have to picture it to create something. So first you create the picture then make you make the picture move in your head so to speak and then you only and only then can you understand abstract concepts from that picture and you know what who found that out me ha anyway <laughs> so yeah there's a lot of research now on that and i started it i'm pretty proud on that and that's that's how basically uh, uh understanding works so you first have to have a picture or a feeling and then you have to try to manipulate it either mentally or physically to see how you can uh, shape it, how it reacts. And through that, you, so to speak, understand the workings be below the surface. But you first always have to have a picture like that's central to cognition. So um, and if you see that's also I will also shortly say this and I will also not go into this too much, but because it would also derail this really fucking hard. But um, when you see, look at magic in, in fiction, magic is an abstract way of saying uh, an abstract version of creation, like uh, artistic creation, logic creation, like, um, and it's also a very dreamy version of creation. So like, look at this, like you dream of, I don't know, creating earth pillars shooting out. And I don't know, in a thousand years, we might have nanites that can do that, you know, but magic is like this first visual picture. Like you just are like, let's dream about a picture that moves that we would love to make reality. And in fiction, you can because you have magic in reality. You have to engineer it or think about it. And I really love that. And this is one of my favorite lines of the show. This is this is so well done that they have this. This picturing stuff. You have to picture stuff to cast magic. That is so on point. So on point. Like that is basically how you have to start understand to understand and to interact and to use tools as well. Like, yeah, it's it's like imagine uh, you can't use a computer without the desktop like most people can. Like you have to click on files on icons to make things appear and happen. And it's the same with magic, because as I said, magic is an abstract way of looking at creation and, and, and using tools, so to speak. And um, computers are like a tool we use that uses the same basic principle. And anyway, I would not go further into it. It was already long, I know. So yeah, but I love this topic. It's my favorite topic in the world. Yeah, I'm sorry. So what he's basically saying on an abstract level or on a meta level is you can't understand me well enough to harm me, like abstractly spoken. And I love that. Like if we take away the magic and the fantasy aspect, you don't understand me enough to hurt me here. I'm better than you at, at using stuff. I love that. Yeah, you're gonna freeze his veins or some shit. You're lying? Ooh, taunting him. That's nice. Oh, his his face was like, go fuck yourself. Ooh, Denken already fights her? Yes, fuck yes! Ah, oh, let's go. And he also uses basic stuff. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. Wow. <laughs> Wow, he knows. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted. Him being on the back seat. I want you to think now. Waldgose. Dowstalk. Wow, that's so awesome. 
so he can combine stuff. Wow. So, uh, uh, Waldhose or whatever it was is a probably a corrupted version of a Windhose, which is like this tornado thing. The other thing I couldn't decipher. Still have to think on the spell names, what they like, how they work. Will the barrier hold? Oh shit! Zerie created it. It cannot be destroyed by brute force again. Again, this force of Zeria, like this combat orientedness. You probably can destroy it another way. So, was Zeria to Aureol? I would love to know. Because it would tell us a bit more. Yeah, it was Frieren. Because you might know how to counteract it. Depends on what you're looking at. If you're looking at peaceful mages, Frieren's probably better. I mean, yeah, he... Katastrophia. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, close range explosion. Because... Oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. I'm a bit sad he didn't think more. He used too much aggressive stuff, I think. I like that he understands it and probably treasures it a bit. I love that. What, like, he's like, he knows and he admits it. What a, what a chat. I love Denken. Oh my god. New favorite side character, perhaps? I would have loved more Denken from him, but. Ooh, bad as Frieren. Okay. Did she just kick him in the face? What is she doing? That's the first that's the first time she's gone gotten physical with a human. And like for no reason at all, like like her, I think she's in battle mode a bit. She has to be careful here that she's not, like he's not a demon. And she knows, but she's probably fought demons for such a long time that it might be hard for her to, like, I don't know, distinguish. Like, obviously not a lot. Like, I know she's not like, oh, you are, like, I'm going to end you here. But so weird, like her actions changed here. She's getting more cold. Yeah, of course you will know. Okay. Why not? Zilva. I still think it might mean Zilba. Silva. But I don't know. Yeah, you probably can't. Awesome that he knows what she's thinking. So he must know that she hears them. Which Frieren implied, but yeah. Why would she? Yeah, she's uh, yeah, she's baiting her. <laughs> it's so stupid. So it was an act, I guess. Oh, she did. That's actually pretty cold. Yeah, Duncan. Why? Because he wants a spell. Because he wants a spell. Because that's what his life is about. There's something he wishes more than... To, there's something he wishes to be able to do more than anything in the world. And I mean, some people... like This could be seen as a metaphor for like um, honing your skill. Like always one skill, you hone it. And in the end, you become magical at it, so to speak. Oh, that's bad as well. Does he want to go home? No, go fuck yourself, not with the graves again. What grave, mate? You sure about that, mate? I love that she again. She seems to be able to now understand other people pretty quickly in their skills. I like that. So she has learned. Oh, she's gonna make it rain. 
Frieren will deactivate it. And it will rain and they're gonna F him. I love his skill though. I love this rock magic. Earth magic is not done enough. It's always slept on, I feel. I love earth magic and it's so rarely used in, in, in shows and stuff. Yeah, yeah! They didn't go to the Prometheus school of running away from things. Thank you. That alone makes this top tier anime. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the background music is so good. Genau. But she's the mage of another time. Ooh, she uses mathematical forms as well in her spell. That's so weird. Yeah. She uses aureole magic there. Look at that. Look at the rainbow. Like, it might just be the barrier reaction, but she might have used some flamme magic here. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> you damn shit. I mean, <laughs> how many elves are there? Don't you know who Frieren is? <laughs> That's what I said, like, why didn't you ask her name? She's the last great mage. Oh my god. What? What? So what? Sometimes things are turned upside down. What does she mean by that? That's intriguing. Perhaps because she realizes she's lacking in the peacetime magic stuff. But she also, I don't know, might want to battle her now. I don't know. Magic should be free. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, she gave her the water, obviously. <laughs> Get fucked, Richter. What are you doing, Richter? Now the ground's muddy, you dipshit. <laughs> Get wrecked, you asswipe. Yeah, because Earth gets muddy. And that as well. <laughs> Riemstrohr. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> That's why I don't like water. I mean, he, he went out with style. You have to give him that. But he was able to, like, raise up the whole area. Like, he must have been strong. <laughs> oh, and she praises them. That's so cool. <laughs> How did he get there? <laughs> I kind of want Denken to still get a stiller though. Couldn't you destroy the tree? Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm also thinking. Yeah, what does an Imperial Mage do? I like you, Denken. I like you so much, yeah. Can you replenish mana like in two hours at least a bit? That would be cool. That is true. That is probably true, yeah. What? Don't tell her. No fan, don't tell her. That might be a trap. Like, don't give information away to people. Like, you are you are now in a group of three, but you might not be in the next test. I assume there's one. So... Of course she says that. <laughs> Why is he called Land? I don't know. Sea Land, I'm with you. You know, it's as if I'm writing this. <laughs> no, it's just awesomely written. It's like you, you get the feeling what should happen and it happens. It's very natural. I love it. Why do they have a still? Oh, that's actually sad. And they don't have a special design, so they're like fodder. 
that's actually very nice but 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 why they have lost Ooh, interesting Denken has something other than thinking oh they're gonna pretend they're also only two They probably also don't. Laufen probably already could have taken that now. I don't know. Oh, what is he doing? Uh, what? Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Random Deng badassery. Okay, Deng is definitely one of my favorite characters and he's gonna have a story that will make me cry because he wants to visit a grave. So he might join the party down the line. That would be awesome. Because he also has something in line with Frieden, but he's a logical person. I hope, okay, it's probably not gonna happen, but they really focus on him. So at least he will be like a very main character of this arc and I just hope we get awesome stuff from him. Also, the sky is kind of cloudy. Why? Perhaps because they're still fighting. <laughs> he won, what the fuck? That's so cool. Dan can just hit him in the face. Oh, they, they as well passed. Oh, who's that one with the long hair? That's an interesting design. They are having interesting designs. Very nice. So we've got probably a new names next time. Ooh, a tavern. <laughs> I forgot Stark exists, oh no. <laughs> Please end. Please end. That would be so fucking stupid. No. Yes! <laughs> they, they made me forget Stark exists. I love you. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, they knew. They knew. What an awesome episode. What an awesome episode. Nothing more to say then. I, I hope that um, my son recorded correctly. And uh, perhaps something to add on the magic stuff. So... Um, Magic in the way they use it here, like with picturing stuff, is also um, a sign of creativity, so to speak. Like, magic seems to be, like, the better you are with magic, rega like, not regarding mana, but the better you are, the more creative you seem, uh, 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 seem to be, which is linked with intelligence as well. So, um, I don't know if, uh, if, uh, uh, if it's uh, correlated magic here with intelligence. Might not be. Might also be talent, yeah. But it's often the case that um, um, this this imagination is like a sign of intelligence as well. Like the most intelligent people can picture the most beautiful things. Um, but anyway, lots, lots, lots of stuff today. Loved it. And um, nothing more to say then. I hope you have a great day. And tell me what you thought as always. And um, I will see you soon. Bye. Also, if you want to support my horror content, check out volume 1 of my horror series called Remnants of the Old Truth, which is available for free as an audiobook on Vidith 22s horror channel. Link is pinned in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and take care.